I'm Anil Kumar and we'll explore how to find increasing and decreasing interval for rational functions. Question here is, determine increasing and decreasing interval for f of x equals to x over 1 plus x square. You should note that this particular function is continuous in its domain. The denominator is never 0, right? So that's very important thing to notice here. Now let's find increasing and decreasing interval. For that, you need to find the first derivative. First derivative will give us the critical number and analyzing the critical number, we can figure out the interval for increase and decrease. So the function for us is x over 1 plus x square. Let's find the derivative. We'll use the quotient rule. So it is 1 plus x square whole square. Derivative of x is 1, so we get 1 plus x square minus x times derivative of 1 plus x square which is 2x right so this is it so we can simplify this 1 plus x square minus 2x square over 1 plus x square whole square now for critical uh, number we have to equate this derivative to 0 so let's simplify this also further we have 1 minus x square divided by 1 plus x square whole square right so we'll equate it to 0 to find the critical number right so that is the derivative now we are saying f prime x equals to 0 to find critical number right so we'll find the critical number so we'll solve on the right side what is the value and analyze it to find increasing and decreasing interval. So from here it is very clear that f prime x is equal to 0 when the numerator is 0. Denominator is never 0. You can see it should not be 0. <laughs> denominator is always positive. Okay, so the numerator is 0 for x equals to plus minus 1. So that implies that 1 minus x square equals to 0 and that implies that x is equals to plus or minus 1 correct so with that we get a critical number so the critical number for us is x equals to plus 1 or minus 1 right now we need to analyze the interval for the function between these points which are being divided by these these points which are at x equals to plus 1 and minus 1. So let us say uh, this is when x is equals to minus 1 and this is when x is equal to plus 1. So what are we analyzing? We are analyzing the derivative of the function f prime x, correct? Equation for the derivative for us is right there. So we have f prime x as equals to 1 minus x square divided by 1 plus x square whole square right denominator is always positive so we'll only consider the numerator with our test points so let us test for points on the left side of minus 1 I could take minus 2 as my test point in between these we could take 0 and on the right side we could take plus 2 now if you substitute the value minus 2 here that means f prime of minus I mean minus 2 is what so it'll be 1 minus if I write 2 here so minus 2 square uh, over something which is positive I'm not calculating I'm only interested in the sign I get 1 minus 4 right so which is negative so this is less than 0 right so we get negative so it is less than 0 less than 0 means that the tangent or the slope on the function will be kind of going downwards like this do you see that on the function that is the slope going downwards negative so that gives you decreasing interval you get the idea right now let us test for 0 so f prime at 0 is if I substitute 0 here I get 1 minus 0 right over something which is positive this is definitely greater than 0 right so it is 1 over something positive so it is greater than 0 that means the interval is increasing correct so slope is increasing means the function is increasing this is the interval for increasing similarly now we'll calculate the value at the test point 
2. So the interval between 1 to infinity will be, if I write 2 here, I get 1 minus 2 square, right, over something positive. This is going to be less than 0. This is negative. So during this interval, tangent f dash x, f prime x, the derivative is negative. Slope is negative for the tangent. So that gives us decreasing interval, right? So from here, clearly, this is your increasing interval. So this is increase interval, right? So, and the decreasing interval is is these two right so these two let me just mark them now with a different thing so this interval left side of minus one and the right side of minus one these are your decreasing interval right now with that we can write down our answer so our answer is increasing during the interval between minus 1 to 1, right? So it is from minus 1 to 1 and decreasing during the interval minus infinity to minus 1 and from 1 to infinity, correct? 1 to infinity. So that is how you should be solving this question. So follow these steps whenever you need to find increasing or decreasing interval, find the derivative of the function then the critical points, you could get more than one. We got two here. These critical points will give you zeros for the slope of the tangent. So you have to check the slope on the curve on either side of these zeros. If it is negative, decreasing interval. If it is positive, increasing interval, right? Now, this also suggests that we have a local minimum and local maxima, right? So some of you can extend this question and also do this part. So find local, it could be absolute also, uh, maxima and minima, right? And you can also graph the function. Correct? So that could be an additional exercise. You could graph the function and see how it looks like. Thank you and all the best.